wait on this because I don't know if that's a top lane Vladimir. Could be a mid lane Vladimir. I don't assume it's a mid lane, um, mid lane Camille, Camille, but it has happened before. But I do think it's Vladimir. Oh, they got to be real careful about this one. Matt going to be jumped on. Froggen looking to make the moves. He's almost completely out of mana. Kadian going to be burned oh, down. Matt. Tries to jump himself back over the wall. Can't quite find the damage. First blood over to the Blood King himself. Vladimir Piglet cashes in. Piglet with the first blood there. He's down in CS. The lane's been a big struggle for him. But Matt is down. Out. Matt's going to be connected onto Tom Kench in the back line. Hextech ultimatum issued onto Froggen. Gate going to be forced to run away. The flash is used. Looper into the back line. Looking to make the kill onto Matt. He has no flash and Looper's got him. Still going to be looking for more as Young Ben finds himself in between four. Not going to be happy about Acadian's that. Going in. Acadian goes over the wall. Able to make it a double and one for three. Fox grabs their fight. And they might get the Drake afterwards. We'll see. They have five people or four people here. The one dead from Looper in the top. Echo Fox end up turning that one around. And that looked rather divided from TL. And it didn't look away. Utilizing the hook shot. The ability is not Arrow. maxed out yet, so he does not have that constant spamming of it for the cooldown. Wants to eat him. One more shot for the eat. There you go, spitting him right back out, and Keith ends up grabbing the kill for himself. Echo Fox managed to pick up the enemy top, top laner, turret. and now they're going to be grabbing that turret first blood, too. The kills that Echo Fox have... Two essence was in one of them. Yeah, it's like... Crisscrossed him there for a second. Anyway, the Rengar ultimate comes out. The arrow like, comes oh through and God. works its way onto Young Ben. Looper into the back line. They've got the kill onto the AD carry already. Gate gobbling up Frog and looking to keep him safe. Spits him right back into the Hextech ultimatum because he can't go anywhere else. Rainover is going to be caught out next. Piglet will be number three, and things are coming out great for Echo voyage. Fox. Piglet getting himself away, but only for the time being. Keith is delivered right on top of the flat. Almost gets himself killed, but almost is not going to count today, Zyrene. It is a zero for three going the way of Echo Fox. Yeah, Echo Fox, they already had superior items. They had the Black Cleaver in at some point. And Lorlo, this is risky because I don't think he has the damage yet. Lorlo's looking to fight Froggen if he can. Froggen getting himself out of the heal from Lorlo, but now Froggen is caught out. Gonna be using the charm, trying to buy himself some time. Here comes Gate, looking to show up and oh, keep a lot. <laughs> Not gonna be able to do it. Froggen looking to make the play and get himself in Gate's belly. But instead, they're both just gonna be going straight into the jaws of defeat. Lorlo and Team That's Liquid grab themselves two for zero. Froggen tried to be showing up too. Lorlo looking to join the fight, keep his mid laner alive if he can. Gonna be taken down below half HP. Forced to flash away. Looper into the middle of three, still looking to make the moves if he can. Lorlo gonna be killed now as Young Bin jumps himself over the wall. Rainover trying to kite back, utilizing the power of the Void Spikes, but Echo Fox having picked off the enemy bait. It's going to be the collapse. Echo Fox rotating Looper up here without the teleport. He doesn't even have it available for the next few seconds still. Rengar ultimate going to be popped. Edge of Night is there as well. Acadian ready to maybe jump in if he has to. Arrow's going to come through, find its way onto Matt. Still looking to make the plays, and he is done, Acadian. though. Acadian going to be killed now by Looper. Almost the Hextech ultimatum gets the job done. Looper getting himself away, but can Piglet. And the rest of Team Liquid say the same. Piglet's not going to be doing it. Double kill for Looper. Here comes the Tom Kench. Looking to make oh, the move if he can over the wall. Can't quite do it. Young Ben going to be kiting back, trying to get himself away from this Kench, but Echo Fox has found their fight, and they are going to find the enemy mid lane inhibitor. Yeah, Kadian starts that one off on the right foot, jumps in after the arrow from Keith had hit Matt Piglet, ducked down into his sanguine pool. People doesn't even care too much about it. Damage is going to be coming in from over the wall. Piglet going to be forced to pool, getting himself away. Rainover is going to be popped almost instantaneously. Piglet going to be targeted next. Frog and looking to make the damage happen there. The chain CC comes out, and he is going to be going down. Lorlo issues the Hextech ultimatum, but immediately forced to retreat. Acadian uh -oh. going to be spit right back out, exhausted, but it will not matter. Matt's going to be dropping, Youngbin's going to be dropping, and Echo Fox is pop, pop, popping off. They're looking to end this game. They've got everything they need, 14 to 5. Team Liquid with one man standing to somehow pull off a miracle. Yeah, Lorlo doesn't really have anything left either. Hey, he's got a tactical sweep. He just yeah. it. Yeah, give him a little dance. Yeah, show him what you're made of. Give him the moves. Oh, didn't even get his E on the Nexus. Those are not the moves we were talking about, but they're exactly what Echo Fox was looking for. That's game one going their way. They'll take a 1-0 lead in this series. Echo Fox, quite good there from beginning to end. And I think Looper, counter matchup top lane, 7-1-7 and seven at the end of the game. Roll versus somebody who's been in the role since ages past, a precursor of modern League of Legends, literally Froggen, just seven years. Always a thing, always an element in the scene. 
of doing drops the equalizer lorlo is going to be the one taking the aggro for now looper eating a whole lot of burst they're making piglet's way up here now as well and oh, another blood is going to be going over oh, to say heal. you gotta be kidding me the unorthodox summoner spell comes in lane hextech ultimatum issued there's no way out except death or a timer and the answer is going to be that first of those two options as the kill goes over to frog and getting himself rolling on this anivia Gets the kill. Flash away as Gaten Frog and make the counterattack. Looper coming in from the side. Piglet with very few resources left to spend. Like they're gonna be caught out here. The exhaust comes down. He's gonna be burned away. Gate actually the one who gets the kill. Not what they would have liked to see with both solo laners hanging around, but they'll take it anyway. Still puts a death onto the enemy to keep himself alive as long as he can. Turret's still gonna be kept alive yep. just barely. Yep, yep, yep. Rainover gonna be taken super low. Lorlo still looking to make the dive. Flash oh my for Flash, Acadian and Frog and looking to make the moves onto Piglet. They have got him! Frog and grabbing that kill, and somehow Looper Ow! gets himself away. That. Bottom side, but the focus is split. Again. They're focusing on the Matt and Young Ban at the same time. Ooh, Frog is still going to make the move, grabbing the killing spree, almost able to make the double. Kansas out the curtain, called Gate, looking to jump right back into the fight. The egg onto Anivia. Lorlo Goodness. jumping back in on top of these guys, shut down over onto Frog and Gate, looking to run if he can. Grabs the passive shield yet again. Lorlo's got his fury, still looking to make the moves, can't quite do it just yet. Grab the kill onto Gate, but now Rain over in trouble again. Going to be healed, and Keith is going to be getting a face full of turret shots. That's not safety just yet. Piglet here, and also Cadian's in that bush. Matt, they don't know that. They don't know Cadian's there. Interesting. The stun going to be finding its mark, and Thunderlords decrees his death. Matt killed again, second time this game. Acadian gonna be 1-0-5. I mean, the two is, but it's almost twice as big, or at least it feels that way. Uh, it goes up to 500 units wide on level two. Uh, hold on, Matt. Ooh! Ah, it's got a sting. Frog and grabbing the kill on that as Acadian dies topside to Piglet. So both teams gonna be losing a member to the opposite side jungler. Yeah, but that's why Frog and puts to the up upside point. mid laner. Excuse me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It was the jungler who died. I had jungle on the brain because Acadian's jungle brains were. All over the top. Another side. young pin gets popped. The electro harpoon. Who's next? That is the question. The, the action just never stops this game. Echo Fox gonna be finding turret number four for themselves. Yeah. So I had the question of, you know, what if Piglet doesn't know how to play against the Anivia? It turns out, what if TL doesn't know how to play against the Anivia? Now Fox looking to turn Piglet. this one right back around. Piglet gonna be the target. Acadian looking to get himself out of that Hextech ultimatum. Gate hanging around as Looper. long as he can to keep it persisting. Piglet gonna be popped by Looper. Acadian in the back line now gonna be looking for the damage onto Young Ben. Keith making his way over into the fight now as well. Young Ben is popped. Rainover trying to find the damage onto Gate. He will successfully grab it with the end of the line, but it's still only a three for one. Make it a four as Echo Fox gets everybody except for the Graves. Echo Fox is clean house. They're going to look at the Baron now, and they're going to try to get themselves out to a large lead. Echo Fox has such high HP on everybody except for Acadian, so they just got to make sure that Baron doesn't target him too much here. And they should be just fine. That Anivia ultimate going to be wearing down this Baron's health pretty rapidly, along with all those fires and flames from Looper. And these guys are going to keep on keeping on. 22 minutes into the game with a 5,000 gold advantage. Seven kills up. And Baron buff really, really hard to deal with. Echo Fox using this Baron for as long as they can. Deadly Flourish finding his way onto Frog, and there's no damage to go with it, though. Lolo going to be Hextech Ultimatum. Fox kiting back. Gate's going to be bursted down. Hextech Ultimatum can now no longer stand. Equalizer has worn down the health bars a little bit on the side of Team Liquid, but Lorlo is still an absolute monster. Looper going to be taken low next. Keith barely Keith getting burning. himself out. The damage onto Acadian is going to be striking true. Looper can't find anybody, and Liquid goes three, almost four for zero. And they turn that around. They were basically in their base. Their turret is super off to the side, having to get himself away from those curtain call shots. Gate's going to be isolated. Five Team Liquid members stand between him and any hope of escape. But now Echo Fox is looking to turn things right back around if they can. Looper is just massive and maniacal. A double kill for Piglet. Looking to make it even more. Lorlo sitting on top of Froggen. If he can get this kill, it'll be massive. That's a nice pretty golden bird, but it ain't going to be too pretty for too long. Rainover goes unstoppable. Another four for zero fight for Liquid. Keith is clearing the wave, and there actually is super low HP on all these TL members except for Lorlo, but they're going to go top instead of mid. And Keith, he stopped them from barreling down mid lane, but it's still going to not stop them from barreling down top. I'm noticing a trend in this series so far, Zyrene. Uh, Nectin does work. Okay, Keith? What is Keith doing? He's 
taken the scenic route. It looked like okay. he was thinking about going bottom and pushing that gigantic wave in, but Piglet had backed and work with. Piglet looking to make the stuns, looking to make oh, the first. Keith. Keith gonna be taken low, but now Piglet's found himself in the Hextech ultimatum. Redemption gonna be used. Keith's gotta be keeping himself safe. Matt's gonna be popped first. Piglet's gonna be popped second. Looper grabbing the kill onto that one. Lorlo's number three. And Echo Fox finally finds what they needed. And this is it. Baron, is it mid lane? Is it both? Youngbin. Youngbin, lead him away. Don't take him to Baron. Uh. Take him somewhere else. Oh, they're going to take him straight to the cleaners. Acadian grabbing the kill. And Echo Fox now onto Baron for the second time. Yep, they're going to pick this one up. No problem now. All the work was done back in that team fight. And that was Piglet. I don't know, man. Now gonna be forced to flash. In. Gate tries to jump in, but now he's gonna be potentially caught. Redemption comes down. He tries to stick around for the heal, but he's still gonna be caught. Lola looking for Looper now. He's got no way out. Gonna be using the zone. He's just trying to buy some time. True Shot Barrage doesn't find any kind of a kill. Acadian might be looking to make some sort of a snipe into the back line. Lorlo looking to make his move onto Keith if he can. Frog and taken low. Scramble the egg, boys. Here we go. Liquid's able to grab three yet again for zero. We got a game going on right now because this mid lane now just has so many minions pushing up. They have to go clear it. Piglet's going to be the one on duty, so now it's going to create a vacuum. Fox will run down the mid lane, get control here, and loop back up. And oh, was it a bait because the minion wave? Looks like it might be. Curtain call opens up. Lorlo goes in onto Gate. Rainover going to be finding his way onto Frog in there in the back line. Redemption coming out. Lorlo grabbing the kill onto Gate as the opener for this fight. Rainover with his Guardian Angel, not even really afraid of that Anivia wall. The minions still banging on the door to the top part of the base for Team Liquid. Yeah, this is the trade that they made. They decided, all right, this turret, this minion wave is just a bait, and it paid off in a kill, but is it going to pay off more? Frog and putting himself in a really, really bad spot. Going to be egged almost immediately. Looper looking to get the kill onto Piglet. Instead, going to be popped himself. Frog and goes down to Acadian. Barely getting himself out alive as Lorlo goes for the kill onto Keith. Not going to be able to find that one either. Keith getting himself away, preserving that deathless score. But Team Liquid finds yet another fight for themselves. Rainover looking to collapse here in Whoa. onto Keith. Keith making some decent damage happen. Now going to be caught out. Now going to be brought down. And the credit goes over to Youngbin. Oh, it looks so good for Keith there, but nope. Turns out that there's help. The Elder Drake is still aggroed and at 40% HP, and all of Team Liquid happens to be hanging around right here. This is going to be a double mega buff Team Liquid. They're going to get both. They're going to have their cake, and they're going to eat it, too. Great back row call, the, call there from TL. Uh, they gave up really their good. top. They gave up their top turret, but it, they're going to start this Baron up. This is where the game will break if somebody gets that Baron. Liquid looking to make the Acadian. fight happen. Acadian's going to be taken low. Can they find the damage they need? Gate looking to get himself away. Acadian's Guardian Angel is popped, and so is Gate's life. Liquid still looking for more if they can get it. They got one, but they want to have even more fun if they can. Baron's the target. His move damage coming in from Keith over the TP. wall is preventing this. As Lorlo comes in, this might end the game if he can make this work. Flashes into the fight, able to find the lockdown onto Frog, and more CC comes through, and that is what I'm talking about. Equalizer's there, but it's not going to be doing anything. Both solo laners go down. And now, Keith and Acadian hanging out in this bush. He's trying to bait him in there, Piglet. Oh, now they know Acadian's in there, too. Ah, that was nice. Was Rain over. Thinking Still's about on. this, decides not to go for it. Yeah, this might be game. They've still got 50 second death timers on both Looper and Froggen. Yeah, 50 seconds. 49 second. minutes in. Uh, it's insane. They're either going to get the Baron or they're going to get the game. We'll have to see what it is. Gate forced to cancel the Hextech ultimatum. Curtain call shots looking for Keith. The third one's going to find him. Fourth one's going to miss. But the Nexus turrets are the target. Acadian just messing with Matt in the jungle. It's not going to be mattering to anything. Zyrene, we are going to game number three. TL. Take the win, 9-0-3. 9-0 and 13 there from Rainover. Insane. What a comeback from Team Liquid. They were for Team Liquid if they managed to win this one on this week with their first new instance of the roster, I guess I should say. Or for Echo trying to get himself away, going to be beaten down. Got to be careful about this one. Looper trying to jump in, make the fight happen, get his buddy away if he can manage to do it. Both Fox Rainover players flash. so incredibly low. Rainover looking to come in. First blood, bullets to the back. Looper pushed this turret in. Acadian's coming up to help these guys too. This is Echo Fox looking for turret first blood if they might be able to find it. Lorlo trying to go in, but the turret has already been Gone. taken down. He makes a mistake, overcommits himself. Now Acadian going to be looking for the damage. He grabs it. 
Rain over forced back. The Chaos Storm still ticking. Piglet putting himself in a really rough spot now. Gate just continuing to stick to him. Now having to get himself out of danger. Flashes over the wall. The Shockwave going to be forcing that one out. But Echo Fox gets not only mid-tier two, and now Piglet's gonna have to walk up by himself, and they're looking for a play here, Abyssal Voyage. Abyssal Voyage takes Rain over in the back line, looking to make some kind of a move. Young Bin might get brought down with him, but he will not. Gate getting himself away, but Keith is the one who ultimately dies for this, as Team Liquid now has three people bottom to take that turret. This is really good from Froggen. He went earlier about Camille and Tom Kench. Then you let them go. Don't let them go earlier. They snap back and Rain over gets exhausted. Rain over going a little bit too close. Gonna be exhausted. The damage coming through, but Matt with yet another save. Looper looking to make the moves if he can. Grabs the kill onto Rain over. The croc is on the loose yet again. Yep, Froggen ends up getting that kill for himself, but Looper. As all of a sudden, now they're realizing something might be up. Matt makes the Abyssal Voyage, gonna be dropping the ward over the wall. Piglet comes in and sees this. Froggen looking to make some damage happen. Looper goes over the wall as well, gonna be using the Dominus, zoning two away. Arrow's not gonna find anyone. Acadian looking to make the jump if he can onto Rainover and Youngbin. Still trying to chase Rainover down even further. Manages to grab the kill for himself. Now gonna be looking for even more. Maybe an escape route onto Piglet. Woo! Nearly bringing him down, but Youngbin's able to find that kill. The laser over the wall and Froggen snipes him down. Youngbin gonna be killed next. Keith taken low and does fall. Lorlo's able to grab two. Froggen still chasing him down, but decides to back off now, head back towards the other way. Looper still near full HP by the end of the fight. And that's actually pretty good. Massive farmer and people are like, oh, you know, the lane opponents just let him have it. It's like, he gets high farm because he's good at playing those matchups. Rain over though, Now he Whoa. grabs the kill onto the enemy jungler. The arrow gonna be sidestep. Young Bin and Matt trying to get themselves out of this one. Looper priming that stun on the auto attack, able to find it. Froggen gonna be brought low. Lorlo trying to take him down <laughs> if he can, but Acadian is running interference, blocks the dredge line. And that brings down the Nautilus, three for zero, Fox. Wow, Rainover actually got wrecked there. Uh, he got Camille ultied and he e at the same time. So he's over the wall and he's actually pinched between the Camille ulti and the wall. And so Froggen ulties him and he just has to stand there and kind of just take it. Just be like, well, I guess this is my life now. Yep, stuck uh -huh. between a wall and a Hextech ultimatum. Yep. Gate just zoning Piglet away from this one. Going to be sidestepping the Deadly Flourish as well. There too. Fox won't really be contested at all going for this. And Piglet tries to get himself back, but instead... <laughs> he's punching a one-way ticket to the spawn play. Uh, number of cooldown boots on your AD carry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Liquid's yeah, 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 winning through that one, but now the fight's going to be breaking out. Froggen going to be bursting down. Still being wait. kept alive somehow. Redemption still going to be healing him up. The arrow comes through. Matt's going to be in trouble. Young Ben falls first. Matt's going to be going down second. Make it Piglet Whoa. third. Make it right over fourth. Make it Lorlo fifth. That's your clean ace, ladies and gentlemen. Echo Fox looking to make this a quick game three. Yep, out of the GA. Last kill goes over to Frog, and that's going to be the game. That's all she wrote. 28 000. minutes in. 15,000 gold up. Hey, Echo and Fox. the Flame Horizon. Hey, he did it in the end. He made it happen at the end of the day. Echo Fox, a very convincing game number three win. Domination from the mid lane there. Froggen takes down mid lane. What a monster. What an absolute monster this game. You cannot say the man did not put the team on his back and carry him.